All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Limitless Mindset Podcast. Hopefully you guys have had an absolutely incredible week. We're almost at the end of the year, guys, and hopefully you guys have absolutely dominated this year so far. Hopefully you guys have crushed your goals. Uh, what's really uh, important is that you guys are taking a look back at the beginning of the year and where you guys are at now to really track some of the progress that you guys have made as well, too. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to get right to the point with you guys. Uh, and this is something that... Uh, it's a tool that I want to drop with you guys that every single one of you absolutely possess right now. And uh, it's up for the grabs if you guys are willing to take it, right? And this is one of those things that will, uh, I call it the great equalizer. Uh, it doesn't matter if you come from money in the background. It doesn't matter if you got to start in business with somebody else. It doesn't matter if you're starting at rock bottom. It doesn't matter if you're starting at the very top. Uh, overall, this is the great equalizer and gives every single person out there the opportunity to build something great for themselves and to absolutely dominate. And it's one of the most underrated tools that you have in your tool belt and not a lot of people uh, really take full advantage of, in my opinion. So what the hell is it I'm talking about? What I'm talking about today, guys, is work ethic. That is the great equalizer in the marketplace when it comes to really having the ability to scale your business and the ability to grow it is your ability to have an absolutely amazing work ethic. Uh, I see so much talent every single friggin' day give up on themselves or you know they have all the knowledge in their head, they have all the answers that they need, but the problem is is they don't actually apply it. They won't out and put, you know, put the work ethic into action every single day. And you know, guys, you guys have heard it before, you know, the person that is the absolute smartest person in the room doesn't always win, but the person that could be one of the dumbest in the rooms can win if they're willing to put in the work and get after their goals and their hopes and their dreams. Uh, in markets like this, you know, the economy is weird right now. Times are weird. The market's weird. Economy is weird. Everything in, in is kind of going against the grain compared to what we've had the last couple of years where things were honestly flowing pretty damn smooth. And now more than ever, it's starting to really divide those that were in it for the right reasons, uh, whether in no matter what industry or business you guys were in and, and divide those out of the way too, that weren't in it for the right reasons or just are putting in the friggin' work, you know, uh, you know, guys, there's no way around this. You guys have heard me talk about this for time and time and time again. The only thing that's ever going to carry you guys to the top of success in anything that you guys are trying to do, no matter what career field you guys are trying to be in uh, or are in or actively maybe trying to pursue, guys, it's your ability to have an absolutely unwavering work ethic. Uh, you know, you just have to put in the work. There's no shortcuts, guys. There's no secret answers to getting to where you want to go. But if you guys keep your head down, you guys grind it out, you guys persevere, you guys push through the shit that is really challenging for yourselves right now. Uh, you know, one day you're going to be able to pick your head up and you're going to look around and you're going to see how damn far you guys have gone. Uh, there's no secret to these people out there. These super high performers, these, you know, these people that just seem like they're miles ahead of where you guys are at. If you guys were to break down uh, their business and where they're at and how the hell they got there. What you guys are going to uncover is just a lot of freaking work that took place. You know, uh, some people seem to want to speed up time. And, you know, that's one of the things I struggle with. Obviously, when we opened the brokerage, you know, when it was back in the way days when I started out, it was just me as a solo agent before any of this happened, right? It was just me working in silence, working in dark, working in the lone. I had nobody around me. I was just putting in the work day after day after day, building my business brick by brick. Uh, then we had a team. We started out with one person, two person, three people. And here we are now over 50 people. And, you know, the culture of this is when a lot of new people get into this industry, for example, I'm in real estate. And I guarantee you this applies in any other business or industry that any of you guys may be listening to this that are in. Uh, you know, people want the instant gratification right away without having to do the work, without having to do anything. They always look for that secret little key, that little piece of knowledge that you can bestow on them to get them to where they want to be. And guys, the truth is you can't outpace time. Some things just take time. Some things take dedication. Some things take grit. Some take an unwavering ability to push through some really hard fucking times in your guys' life and your guys' business. And eventually, like I said, one day you guys are going to pick your head up and you're going to look around and you're going to be like, holy shit, I actually made it. And that's how it happens, guys. That's how it works. But not without putting the work, not without laying the bricks every single day. It's the super monotonous stuff, right? You guys envision somebody laying a block wall, you know, and you look at a block wall and it looks really cool. It's one big, long perimeter wall, you know, around this property. If you guys imagine it consist of thousands of bricks. Well, each one of those bricks was laid one by one by one. And I guarantee you when that guy sat out to build that wall, he didn't expect to have that thing built in two hours. It wasn't, hey, I'm going to put in two hours worth of work and be done. You know, those things take a long friggin' time. And as you stand back and you look, it's individual bricks laid neatly, nicely, 
They all started right at the bottom, right where the footer is, and they worked it up to five, six foot tall wall. Uh, but guys, brick by brick is how that was built. Same thing as houses. You know, it just takes time. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the reps. You got to have an absolutely killer and dominating work ethic to get where the hell you guys want to go. And it, truth be told, in today's culture, it seems like things are kind of really starting to fade out when it comes to the work ethic side of things. You know, more and more people are looking for the quick, fast, easy, convenient way, the path of least resistance. They want the instant gratification. They want the instant results. Truth be told, guys, I kind of blame that on our current culture the way it is right now, because that really is where our world has shifted to, is getting the fast, quick, easy, and everything, right? Uh, like we talked about, you got the DoorDash if you want food right now. You have the internet if you want information or knowledge right now. You have, you know, Netflix on demand if you guys want to watch a particular show right now. Uh, you know, you got the internet if you want to go, you know, read a certain news article right now. You no longer have to wait for that Sunday newspaper. You know, if you guys wanted food, you know, you guys got the Instacart. You can have a DoorDash to you right now. You know, everything uh, that has been designed and invented these days that does very well are things that shorten the process up, right? Look at Amazon. They grew to be a multi-billion dollar company because of their ability to get a product that you order today at your doorstep on the same day instantaneously right now. Uh, all absolutely amazing inventions and creations that have taken place in our world today that have helped us out. But guys, the downside on this is a lot of people are trying to translate that into their ability to build a career for themselves or build a skill set or a knowledge. And unfortunately... There really isn't a way that you're going to be able to get to that level of success uh, that you guys are looking for if it's unwilling to put in the work to where you guys need to be. You guys got to have that work ethic. That is the number one thing. I know people that are absolutely killers when it comes to their business, and that's because they put in the work every day. I also know people that have built an absolutely incredible business and name for themselves, and then they backed off. They didn't put in the work anymore, and they sunk themselves back down to the bottom as well, too. So... You know, wrap your guys' head around the ability to have some pride in having a good work ethic. You know, don't always go out there looking for the shortcuts. Don't go out there looking for the easy way. Don't go out there looking for, you know, how to have other people do all your stuff for you. And so you can go chill and do whatever, guys. That's always going to be the shortcut to get to where you want to go. And you're never going to get that guaranteed longevity to where you guys want to be, right? The second half of this is, is that you guys have the opportunity to set the example and be a leader within your guys' company or an organization. You guys currently right now own a team or you guys own a business or you guys are one of the top production or supervisor managers, right? The people underneath you look up to you to get to where it is that they want to go, right? They're looking at you for advice and they're watching everything you guys do. And if you guys are basically out there looking for half-assed shortcuts, not putting the work, that's essentially what you guys are teaching them how to do, right? Uh, however, you, you will earn the respect of those people if you're in the trenches with them and you're putting the work and you're showing them how it's done day in, day out and you're being the hardest fucking person working in the room, it's hard for them to debate with that, but ultimately you're setting them an example to show them how to win. It's your duty and it's your responsibility to show other people how to win, right? It doesn't matter what business you're in, it doesn't matter uh, what industry you're in, it doesn't matter how much money you make, it's a natural human ability to want to do well, right? Everybody wants to do well for themselves, nobody wants to struggle, nobody wants to half-ass it, so... It's your job as a leader within your guys' company, your guys' organization, or even the head of your household. You guys got kids, you guys got a wife. You guys need to be out there setting the example, showing them how to win on a day-to-day -day basis. Show them what it looks like to put in the work. Show them what it looks like to earn the things that you say you guys want. Show them what it looks like to build and create a life that you guys want. You know, again, don't avoid the work. Don't run from it. Put in the work, put in the reps, put in the time that you guys need to put in to get to where it is that you guys want to go. Uh, and again, guys, it's the ultimate equalizer. I know people that started out with a company that their parents handed them uh, that don't nearly do as well now because they weren't able to do the work. And I know people that started at rock bottom, ground zero. Hell, they even started in the freaking basement. That's how low they were. And they're absolutely killing it. And they're multimillionaires now. You know, the cool thing is you don't have to have a certain amount of knowledge and education. While it does help, uh, all the knowledge and education you have in your head means absolutely nothing if you don't have the work action to put that into play, the work ethic, right? So that's why I call that the great equalizer. Every single person is born with this tool inside them. Everybody, you all, you, me, all of us have this tool inside of us called work ethic that we could deploy when times get tough to get our ass in gear and just freaking outwork it, right? That's the biggest thing for me is whenever I come up to an obstacle, whenever I face a challenge, Whenever I'm having down days, whenever I'm having days of doubt, whenever I'm having days of struggle, whenever I'm having those days where I feel like I have a fucking semi-truck tied to my back and I'm walking uphill with the wind blowing against me, 
I put my head down and I get my ass to work and I push myself through those days. And I guarantee you guys are always going to feel good out of it, right? And those results will come. You cannot fail if every day you are getting up and you are putting in the work. You guys are putting in the reps in your guys' business. You guys can't fight, fail. It's absolutely impossible. So again, guys, all of us have it. It is the great equalizer and that's the work ethic. Make sure you guys are putting it in there. Don't shy away from the work. Put in the work embrace it enjoy it learn to love the process on it and fall in love again guys with the work that you guys doing don't fall in love with the result because i can guarantee you guys uh speaking from experience your guys's results are always going to change what you decide you want right now could look a little bit different and as you start to get closer and closer to that goal your mind is going to expand and it's going to stretch and you guys are basically going to want to possibly strive for even more but you can't tie yourself to that end game as the final reward. You have to really learn to love the process. You have to learn to love the work and the learning experience that goes in behind it. That's how you guys see longevity without burnout and how you see massive results. So get out there, guys. Have an absolutely amazing week. Give it all you guys have. And again, don't shy away from the work. Use that great equalizer, the work ethic, guys. Get out there. Crush it.